All right, hey YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install Ruby with the water and green shoes gems on your Windows 7 computer. I know sometimes uh, Ruby can be really difficult to install on Windows, so I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you want to do is go into your command prompt and type ruby-v, and you just want to make sure that you don't have Ruby installed already. Uh, that's pretty important, but it's uh, pretty basic step as well. So click out of that and then go to Ruby 2.0.0, this first one, on rubyinstaller.org slash downloads. So I'm going to click that and wait for it to install. Looks like it'll be pretty quick. Good. Alright, so I'll click on that and it asks me if I want to run it. I'm going to say yes and select your language, accept the license terms, make sure you read them all or not. And then it's going to show you this screen here. Uh, what you want to do is uh, select these last two checkboxes. So that should be good. Go ahead and click install. and finish. So that was easy enough. So now I'm going to go back to the command prompt and make sure you open a new command prompt and it's not the one you had open before. Type ruby-v again. And you can see that I now have Ruby 2.0.0 installed on my computer. So that's perfect. The next thing you need to do is uh, check your gem version. So you're going to say gem dash v and I have 2.0.14 which looks a little bit out of date so what I'm going to need to do is type in gem update dash dash system and you want to have at least Ruby 2.0.3 on your computer. So I'll let that go ahead and run. Uh, if you have Ruby 2.0.3 on your computer, do not do this step, or you don't need to do it. I guess you can, but it should be fine without it. So it's going to go through all the update information if you scroll up, bug fixes and whatnot. So it's going to say Ruby installed all these gems. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, gem-v, and I have 2.2.2 now, so that should be fine. The next thing you want to do is install the Ruby development kit. Okay, so on the, the uh, Ruby installer site, you want to go to the first dev kit here. Should download that. There we go. Alright, so when it's done, click on it and go ahead and run that again. Okay, now you're going to see this uh, extracting screen and you don't want it extracted in the downloads folder. You actually want to choose your path and you want to find where you installed Ruby. So for me, that's going to be in computer C, and then down here at Ruby 200. I'm just going to select that folder and hit OK. So I'm extracting mine to C, Ruby 200, and I'll hit Extract. Alright, now that that's extracted, we're going to open up the command prompt again. We're 
we're going to change directories into wherever it is. I can just say cd c, not d. <laughs> All right, so I'm in C, and I want to go to change directory to Ruby 200. So I'm in that Ruby 200 folder now. And I'm going to have to type Ruby dk.rb in it and run that so it looks good uh, once that's complete go ahead and say ruby dk.rb install So far, everything looks good. Uh, what, you're, what we're going to do now is install water in green shoes. So what water is, is basically a bunch of Ruby gems. It's like a library of Ruby gems that's used to automate web browsers. Green shoes, on the other hand, is a Ruby gem, a single Ruby gem, that allows you to create a graphical user interface to use your scripts with. So to install these, you're going to open up a new command prompt. And cd back into that directory. So mine was c ruby 200. So there's currently a problem with installing the water gem as is. And you could end up with an error. So just to be safe, we're going to say gem uninstall mini magic. Go ahead and hit enter. And then on the next line, gem install mini magic dash v 3.5.0. Just to make sure we have the right version of that installed. So that might take a little bit. So everything looks like it downloaded successfully. Uh, the next step is to install water. And that might take a few minutes. Uh, the command for that is gem install water, W-A-T-I-R, dash dash, no dash R-I, space dash dash no dash rdoc so go ahead and hit enter and we're gonna have to wait for that to finish uh, feel free to skip ahead in the video if you want uh, I'm just gonna let these run in real time just so you guys get a sense of how long it takes to install them. Should be done soon. There we go. Alright, and then the last thing we need to do is install green shoes, which is just gem install green underscore shoes dash dash no dash ri dash dash no dash rdoc and we'll go ahead and enter that and as long as that installs properly you should be good to go you can start programming with a uh, notepad or your favorite text editor Probably not Notepad, probably uh, Sublime 2 or Notepad++, whichever you like. Uh, they're all good in my opinion. I'm not going to choose sides. I know a lot of people have preferences. But that's pretty much it. Uh, once this is done, and you'll see that it's installed properly here in a second, 
uh, you'll be able to run your Ruby scripts and it's that easy so be sure to like and subscribe if I helped you uh, feel free to ask questions I'll do my best to help but uh, I know Ruby has a lot of errors in Windows uh, a lot of people say it's best to use uh, some sort of Mac operating system or Ubuntu but uh, this is how you do it on Windows 7 uh, it should work if you follow everything I did uh, step by step I'm actually on a 64-bit system uh, it worked just the same for me as a 32-bit system I have installed this on a 32-bit system using the exact same method before so I know it works on both uh, yeah, feel free to give me a shout if you guys have any questions. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.